this pressure, but that opening kill hasn't happened yet. It's very important in this round. Ashen will spring on in. EMP goes off you selfishly. Big backpack of Maestro spotted Mirage suffering two losses right off the rip. J90 and Forrest credited with those kills. Now Forrest getting the diffuser down. Close to Attackers ultimately succeeding. You can hear that Dreadmine go off. Rampy far enough back. It's his former team that he's squaring off against. And he gets out dueled by longtime teammate and duo of faults. Now it's up to Kansan in a 1v4 to try to recover. This bombsite is no longer his. It's been taken over by the interlopers of Space Station. Forrest committing a team kill as both he and Fult swing at the same time, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Forrest got both of the kills. But just waiting for those final moments to get in position to then hit that execute button and hit the side itself. Oh boy. What a free kill. A bomb and indeed it happens. Kansan was looking for one earlier on in the round and had done some damage. Hot and cold, just playing a bit too aggro with very limited support. Now, the Tachanka actually showing some value. The Shumika launcher's fire will deal some damage and rebuff SSG. Vertical's dead, but ultimately Space Station trail in terms of numbers. They want to get into this A-bomb site to get the diffuser down. Question mark is going to be Spiker. He's not too far removed. Slaughtered by Fultz. Body's dropping as Fultz goes down now too. Rampy will retake it. It's all up to him with the diffuser running away. He and J90 in a standoff for the ages. And I know he's got lots Defender of viewpoints towards this diffuser. He's just waiting on the call. Rampy buying time. He's got utility, but this will be a gunfight, a shootout. Now J90 gets up, finishes off what little is left of Rampy. Space Station get the diffuser down two rounds in a row. They win both rounds, but this one significantly the tighter. To open up the canister of the mirror window, so then make that bomb site later on more executable. And as you see, they have this strat where like they think four grenades, they go below, and try and find something, but they don't. The guns they hit the marks, but they trade and trade for the back. There's more gunfire going out between these teams. Hot and cold using grenades. SSG really favoring those nades to be tossed in, dislodging the defenders, but ultimately not showing the same level of success that they've had in the past. Spiker doubling up on kills, a 2v2 with 30 seconds to go, and hot and cold will be boxed out of that door. The Kiba barrier going up. Instead, now SSG will rotate around and look towards B bombsite through the projector room. Down goes Ash, and it's all up to hot and cold unless he can get SSG's newest player back up. He's toiling. He can't seem to accomplish it. From yellow over towards console now, Slothy has a shotgun out in the moment that Hot and Cold is able to take care of the Kiba barrier. Another one will go. Dying moments of the round and Hot and Cold doesn't know where to go. He vaults in. Mirage picking up those final two kills with Spiker getting his third pick to finally get Mirage on the board. Oh, Force, I'm happy. I'm lucky I'm not you because this is tough. <laughs> well, they hit the basement instead. The He's in the same spot that Hot and Cold was in. There was another goo mine down there. SSG ultimately just not drilling out this portion of the map from electrical into server. It's really not going well, but J90 and Forrest get on the board. They were exceptional in the basement all the way back in round number one. History seems to repeat itself, even if it is a different bomb site. J90 inside of servers. Forrest holding that diffuser now, waiting for the final member to get in. Oh, it's remaining. Rampy with Forrest finally in, only two seconds to go. But J90 is perfect in that coverage. 3 1 for Space Station. The attackers alive, follow the spaceman attack, put you in a decent position. Still got enough angles to work with. The Mirage can close it down to two, comes a lot harder. 2v2. This picks back and forth, 30 seconds to go. Hot now holding the diffuser. The only kill he's had so far was the one earlier on. You cannot afford to lose Ashen this early, especially when there's a plant to be done. But there goes Hot and Cold. You might not be able to lose Ashen, but you certainly couldn't lose Hot and. Now it's Ashen to walk in the garage. Razor Bloom goes off, playing by Pillar. Seconds to go. Marching forward, swung on. He loses the fight. Barrage have their revenge on the very first bomb site they went to and ultimately fell short on. Obviously unideal. Vertical and Fultz taking some damage. Now it's hot and cold. Looking to assert this himself. Is Forrest is just downstairs inside the bomb site, by the way. Space Station starting the killing, but 
There's an answer back from Mirage. Now Fultz getting the diffuser down. This is one thing Space Station has struggled on is, well, it looks like they've had sight control. They failed to do good objective play. Ultimately, numbers still dropping on both sides of the coin. Vertical, all three kills so far for Mirage. Forest and Fultz for SSG. Spiker and Vertical for Mirage. Both Vert and Spiker able to clutch this one up. Four very good players still left in the lobby. Spiker getting ever closer to the case. Looking through those rotates. Forest far enough back. That C7 can do so much damage, but he's boxed out. Fultz reading in very well. Down goes Spiker. It's going to be vertical to clutch win the round. No, he can't get it done. He came close to tying it up, but ultimately... SSG comes out on top in those first six yeah, rounds. The first blow was struck, though. It's very rare that they would go one for one. Usually Mirage would get two picks to Space Station's one or the other way around. So there is an advantage obviously gained, but it comes so quickly, just like that. As I speak, action oh. goes huge and picks up three from the same spot. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner that there are indeed severe issues with the servers. And Kansan was frozen in place. I don't know if this is affecting any of the players on Space Station, but Kansan is traveling through an entirely different dimension at this point, outside of the control of the players, but I guess you make the best of the situation that you find yourself in. That means that Spiker with very limited HP is in a 1v3 and... Fultz finally getting Kansan and finishing him off before Ashen gets a 4K. Every person who was actively in that round. Catering wall opened up. I still want to call it tables. <laughs> tables. I want to ask about the tables. Nice nade tossed in. It also seemed to get the Goyo canister as well. But as we've seen over the last couple rounds, yet again, that early pick does not gain anything. That's a very interesting shotgun being used. User will have to get that down. That means Spiker and Vertical will be the ones to watch over that. It's a 3v3, so you don't need to have both players on that top floor. But one of the players from Space Station, Ashen on Solus, is down below. And with only 10 seconds left, this is going to be an incredibly powerful spot. Nitro Cell goes in. Vertical dropped. Hands in trying to swing and keep it close. J90. Punishing him, hot and cold seals the deal. After a long wait, we get back in the lobby and Space Station grab their sixth round over Mirage. Just to watch the way that Rampy goes about this. Yeah, a lot of options, but I think you are right for defense. There's no barbed wire. There's no real operators that have any utility like Ella Mines or Fenrir, etc. So you can just walk up the yellow staircase. But look at that. There's a shotgun. What <laughs> a big play by Ashen. Mirage. It's all about that shotgun, baby. With the shotgun buff. Vert gets injured as well, so Mirage is looking real dire for them. No way in, but many ways out, but they don't want to go that way. They need these rounds, need the points, but 2v5, it's a tall ask. Yeah, this is things are going to get real tough. Another from Ashen. A flawless round for Space Station. Top six is theirs. They do it. They topple Mirage. They don't look that excited. Surprisingly, <laughs> Ashen was pumped, but as for the rest, it appears to be business as usual.